episode of Wednesday 3 in our 25-day seasonal series for engineering. Today I want to talk about summer classes because I always talk about these in all my videos, but I always mention just the pros. And I'm always like, oh, they're great because, and here are the pros, they're great because they can help you get ahead in your coursework. They can help you get caught up in your coursework. They can help you uh, just give you something over the summer to do if you don't already have an internship or anything. But I never talk about the cons and it's like, of course, like there have to be a lot of big cons here because if not, everyone would just take summer classes unless they just want to break from work, I guess. But um, the cons here are money, money and time. All right. So money because they mark up summer classes an incredible amount. Like, for example, at my university here, um, the tuition that my university pays normally is 4000 if you're in state, about 8000 if you're out of state right? And that's per semester, I think. Yeah, per semester. And then if you're trying to take summer classes, though, it's $1,000 per credit hour. So the reason why I gave you all those numbers, oh, just spilled coffee. The reason why I just gave you all those numbers is because you need to be able to put that in terms of your university, right? So my numbers were $4,000 per semester in state, $8,000 out of state, and $1,000 per credit hour over summer. That's insane. And a lot of people were like, why would you do that anyway? Like, why would you do that at all then? Why would anyone pay that crazy number? I did it. I've done it before. And it's not that like I had the money to do so. It's just that when they're convincing you that when you're looking at your schedule and you're like, man, like I can, I can graduate on time if I do it this way. And then you look at it and say, well, I'd save, you know, you know, 4,000 or $8,000 compared to, you know what I mean? Just paying the 2,500 or 3,000 to take the class then, you know, you kind of buy in in your mindset that, you know, it might be worth it or something. But let me just say this. You're not only just paying that money, though, but you're losing a lot of potential money that you could be making from an internship and experience and all these things. So before you take a summer class, you have to weigh all these options. Go see your advisor. Talk to someone about it. Don't just assume that it's the right thing for you and do it because I'm telling you, this stuff can add up, which leads into my next point here. If you're going to take the summer class, make sure you pass it. And a lot of people are going to be like, shit, duh, like that makes a lot of sense. But the but what you don't realize is, is they're taking like a 13-week class, a 14-week class, and they're condensing it and smashing it down into five or six weeks, which means you're taking this class every single day, four or five days a week for probably an hour and a half at a time. And then not only are you taking it an hour and a half at a time and learning one section a day, after that, you're supposed to go and learn for like two more hours on that one section because they're just covering on how to do it, if that makes sense. And it's it's a big commitment, guys. And most people I know only would ever take one or two summer classes at a time, max. One or two summer classes. Because if you take more than that, it's so it's a big burden on you. And if you're trying to work at the same time, like even part-time or get your schedule to, to fit or work out, it's just a lot. Like it, most people can't handle it, or if they do handle it, like you know, they struggle with a grade. So if you are going to invest all that money, make sure you pass the class. And before I get out of here, I just want to give you guys a few tips on what I think like could help you with summer classes. And uh, the first one would be, if you are going to take summer classes, try to do it towards the beginning of your college curriculum, like freshman year, sophomore year. The reason being is most of the times you want to spend your summer at an internship or somewhere getting some type of experience your junior and senior year. So if you, if you can take it your freshman, sophomore year, do so. If not, not the biggest deal. Most people also take math classes over the summer because that's usually what they're behind it. But some people actually find it helpful to take the math class over summer and not during the semester. Some people just really struggle with math, need the extra time to just simply sit down and focus just math. Like I said, it's going to be just as much math. It's just going to be condensed down into a fewer amount of weeks. So depending on your learning style, that could hurt or help you. The third thing would be just to check online to see if any local community colleges or other universities that may be cheaper than yours that you're at now is offering the same course over the summer, maybe online, offline, whatever. Because sometimes if you're lucky, your university will accept credits from local universities or other universities or community colleges all over the place. And it would be maybe a few thousand dollars cheaper. But before you do that, make sure that the university is going to accept the credit. So you might have to go to, uh, shoot, I'm not sure what it's called, transient office, I don't, the academic affairs office, I'm not sure. But go to, your, go to whatever office that is in your university and ask specifically if those credits will transfer if you take the summer class because some people I know will take the summer class not asking and none of the credits will count. I'm trying to make these videos really short, guys. So 
if you have any questions or comments or I didn't answer something, be sure to leave it in the comment section below. I'll try to answer them. Someone more knowledgeable than me will answer them. And we'll see how it goes. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Brother, I'm gonna burn this gasoline and set it on fire, 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 fire. Hope someone sees it,